clone VAG NQB transponder in minutes with Auto at 100 super chip. No extra programming needed. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your ultimate hub for all things automobile diagnostics. Before we jump into today's exciting guide, I have a small favor to ask. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And if you find this video helpful, consider dropping a super thanks to support the channel. Now let's get straight into it. Auto has introduced the AT100 Super Transponder Chip, a game-changing solution that allows for seamless cloning of multiple transponder chip types. This includes a vast range such as ID11, ID12, ID13, ID46, ID47, ID48, ID49, ID4A, ID4C, ID5C, ID4D, ID64, ID8A, ID8C, and even NQB transponders. What makes this chip stand out is its full compatibility with Autel's top-tier key programming tools, including the Autel Maxim KM100, IM508, IM608, and the Odafix series. Additionally, it works smoothly with XP200, XP400, and XP400 Pro programmers. However, there's a small caveat. If you're using the XP200, Keep in mind that it does not support reading original keys that use protocols like ID4C, ID4D, ID8A, and ID4E. Now, let's walk through the simple yet effective process of cloning a Volkswagen NQB transponder using the AUTL at 100 Superchip. Step-by-step -step guide to cloning an NQB transponder. Step 1. Read the original key information. 1. Navigate to the Transponder Cloning menu and select Volkswagen NQB Transponder Cloning. 2. Before starting, ensure you have the following. The original key. The original key's CS code. The AT100 Super Transponder Chip. 3. The system will prompt you to enter the 16-byte CS code from the immobilizer data. This is crucial for authentication and successful cloning. 4. Unlike traditional key programming, Cloning eliminates the need for additional programming since it directly replicates all immobilizer data, synchronization ID, and other essential key details. Step 2. Write the clone data to the AT100 Super Chip. 1. Remove the original key from the key slot. 2. Insert the AT100 Super Transponder Chip into the key slot. 3. Press OK to begin writing the clone data onto the new transponder chip. 4. Once the process is complete, your NQB transponder clone is ready to use. And that's it. With just two simple steps, you've successfully cloned a Volkswagen NQB transponder without needing additional programming. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If this video helped you, give it a big thumbs up, drop a comment below, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more in-depth automotive diagnostic tutorials. And if you'd like to support the channel, hit that super thanks button. See you in the next one. Happy diagnosing.